top three records I bought in Detroit. Detroit what? Buying records in Detroit is an experience itself, especially in the early 2000s, like 2000 to 2002. There was a sound that was being defined at the time by people like JD, Jazzy Jeff, Mad Lib, High Tech. There was a soulful renaissance taking place, and for me, living in that part of the world, I was able to experience one of its main sources. I mean, it's Motown for heaven's sakes. Lonnie Liston Smith and the Cosmic Echoes. I bought this record primarily for one song, a one song only, and that is the opening song, Expansions. The first time I heard this record was on a DJ Kubert mixtape named Demolition Squeeze Pumpkin Music. It was one of the records that stood out to me the most. I thought at the time when I bought this record, I will never ever find this record. It, what's dope about this record, when you open the inside cover, you see this very, very awesome picture of his back. Even his back is very soulful. Dr. Buzzard's original Savannah Band. This record is not always the easiest record to find. For I was at a record show in Detroit and I had a copy. I didn't, I didn't even know the record when I picked it up. Sun Sours is, to me, is one of the most melodic, most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. There's something about that song to me that has always just been beautiful, very, very touching, very warm. Cool things about this record. In the song itself, he says, uh, Tommy Matola lives on the road. So Tommy Matola said in an interview that this record was one of his first records. It's known the fact that he got shouted out in the record, and this was one of his big records, like to me connecting those dots was a big deal. Summertime in Aspen by Kim Hill. This song again, a very, very soulful song. A very beautiful song. I love the album cover because she looks very classical on there. It's a very Foxy Brown type of look. I think we were in record time in Detroit, and I remember that whoever was working the other time played, and I was like, you know what? I like that song. I gotta cop that. And again, today is one of those records that I have no regrets buying because it's just dope. Those are my top three records that I purchased while living in the Detroit, Windsor area.